The QSIS Designer allows you to create a robust public address system that integrates sophisticated paging and messaging services along with customizable zones, priorities, and command features. The tools to set up a complete paging system are easy to use and offer almost limitless flexibility, so your design will behave exactly the way you want it to. It starts with a page station, like this one. At its most basic, a public address system allows a user to speak into a microphone and send a page over the loudspeakers. This is a page. You could also send a pre-recorded message over the loudspeakers in much the same way. This is a message. You can also configure different zones so that you could send your message to one area. This is zone one. Or another. This is zone two. And if other users are also sending pages over the loudspeaker. This is a page. You establish priorities so you know which user is more important. Let's start with the hardware. QSC has a few different models of page station. This is the PS1600H. It has a 12 button keypad, handheld microphone, four customizable command buttons, and an LED screen at the top for basic information. Different models have different button layouts or a gooseneck microphone. Page stations are connected to QSYS with a basic Cat5 cable, but you'll need to connect it to a switch that is PoE capable, that's power over ethernet, or you could use a PoE injector. Once your page station is networked to your core, you'll be able to access it in the QSYS Designer software. First, we'll add a page station to our inventory. We'll go to the inventory pane, add a peripheral page station, and mine is the PS1600. Just like a core or an I.O. frame, we'll need to link this software proxy to our physical device by properly identifying it. I'll go to the configurator, where I can see all the QSYS devices that are on my network. And here I can see there is a page station on the network called Page Station 101. If I hold the talk button for a few seconds on the device and then cycle through its pages, then I can verify that this is indeed my page station. If you want to rename your device, you can do that through the configurator. I'll rename mine Training PS. Select Update Settings, and the device will reboot with the new settings. No matter what your page station is named, though, we need to use that name for the proxy in our inventory. Just click on the page station, go to its properties, and change its name, Training PS. To connect it in our design, we'll need to use its components. There are five components that you could pull into the schematic. One is a status component to let you monitor the device. These ones down here let you use the auxiliary connections, but mostly you'll need the mic control components. This component has two pins. The audio pin is the microphone input, and the triangular control pin is the station control for the device, mic control. These are going to be wired to your master PA router. If you go to the schematic library under audio components, public address, you can drag a PA router into your design. This router networks your entire public address system. It can handle up to 128 page stations and 256 zones. You can only use one in your design, so everything gets routed through this one component. Audio and control lines come into your router on the left and are sent to the appropriate outputs on the right depending on which zone you want your page sent to. If you click on it to see its properties, you can adjust the number of station inputs, the number of zone outputs, and you can also add some audio input pins for background music, or BGM. In my example, I'm going to use two stations and two zones. I'll wire my page station control to the router, and if you want to apply some compression or signal processing to your mic, then you could do that along the way. And I'll wire my two zone outputs to a line out card I have on my core, which will go out to some loudspeakers. Let's add two background music inputs. And we'll throw an audio player into our design and we'll wire those two together. We'll talk more about that in just a bit. For our second station input, we're going to build a virtual page station. You can drag this component from the schematic library. It has a lot of the same functionality as the physical page station, designed to be used on a touch screen in conjunction with your UCI. You can see it only has one control pin, which will wire to our PA router. And you have to provide your own microphone. I happen to have one plugged into my core through my line in card, so I'll simply wire that to my station audio. So. Our system may be simple, but it's ready to load to the core. You can hit F5 or you can use the file menu. Now before we configure up our settings, let's check on our mic level. If you double click the mic control component, 
Well, then you can see a few things there. You can see the input meter, an LED that tells you if it's clipping, and a clip hold button to keep that LED on if there is clipping. And you'll notice that the mic is always on. Here, look, I'm not touching the button. Check, 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 check. The mic is always on even when it's not sending out a signal. Now, you probably want to adjust your analog gain so that your mic won't clip. You can treat this like a preamp on a mixer. And then, once it's digitized, then you can mute it or adjust its gain however you like. All right, so we've got an operable basic system. Why don't we take a quick break right there? And when we come back, we'll start to configure our paging settings. Thanks, and feel free to move on to the next section whenever you're ready.